So Daisy, our pit bull, is crying because she can't cross the line. That big scary cord is going to get you, Daisy. What did you just eat? Daisy, come here. You can cross the line. Come here. Come here, Daisy. Come here. Oh, you did it. Eric and I are working from home today. Hey -o. Party! Woo! I've never been so happy to work in my entire life. <laughs> True that. If I could work from home every day, I would work 10 times harder. We were just talking about how we feel like we have more incentive to work really hard so we can get done sooner so that we can not be working and be at home. Dude, I don't even care if I have to work extra long. She, Look where I'm at. She's laying in bed for heaven's sake. I'm laying in bed with my dog. Not working. Okay, I'm working. <laughs> it's coming. That's funny. Jump. Okay. I think this makes up for my bad Monday. It's a good day. Like we said, we are working from home today, and I seriously feel like when you're working from home, you have more motivation to get your job done really fast so that you can be doing nothing. But also, kind of exciting, there's a guy coming over to look at our boat today because, um, like we've said before, we are selling it. Well, my brother had a co-worker who had a friend that wanted to take a look at it and I just thought it was kind of like a casual thing like maybe it wasn't gonna happen but the guy <laughs> the guy is like apparently super interested and wants to come over and look at the boat today so as soon as we're done pretending to work from home we're gonna go out and try to clean the inside of the boat a little bit more so we can sell the boat we'll be so rich so rich. We cash money. This is how Megan works and then we can when she's at home. Laying in bed with her phone and a dog on her chest. <laughs> this is my first time ever, so I can, I'm going to enjoy it. This is pretty awesome. We'll probably never get this chance again. No, probably never again. Hello? Sister? Sister? Um, are you going to come help me clean the boat still? Why? Because I'm going to clean my room. But you said you would help me. I know, but I also thought I was going to be leaving straight home from work, and now you'd have to come and pick me up, and then take me back. I can do all of that. Uh, you took a week off to clean that damn boat and didn't touch it. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? You brought in just to get out? No, we cleaned it. We just have to do the cabin. Okay, well, how long do you think it'll take? I don't know. I'll just do it myself. No. We're about to call the guy to come look at the boat. We climbed up in it a couple days ago and then today just to get some of it cleaned out, but there's kind of a tour. It's a big old beast. But this boat's been in my family for since 1999, I believe. And we've taken it down to southern Utah to Lake Powell. Um, up into the mountains fishing it's got a big old cabin in here so um you know it's got a stove and a sink microwave closet it's got a little mini fridge there's a whole bathroom down in here this bathroom's actually hilarious because whenever you have to use it it's actually pretty tiny <laughs> as you can see it's like it's smaller than an airplane bathroom i'm pretty sure but gets the job done Anyway, that's the bathroom. And then here's just a big table in here. This all folds down into a bed. This table goes flat on these uh, rails here. And then you put the pad up on top of the table and it makes a big bed. And there's speakers in there that nose like folds up so that you can extend all the way up into the nose. That's pretty cool. And then of course you got the portholes. And then if you're going like you're gonna go walk up back up to the top, if you come down here, there's kind of like the master bedroom. Probably can't really get a good feel for the size, but I mean, you put two people in here. We got a recreational equipment in here right now, like skis and stuff, but I mean, it's a pretty big bathroom or a pretty big bedroom. Anyway, there's a place for your stereo, all that good stuff. So it's a pretty nice boat. It's done us 
it's always done my family really good and uh it's kind of funny now that it comes down time to to talk about selling it i kind of get sentimental about it because we did have it in our family for so long and now it's possibly going going bye bye but that's how it goes we just got to downsize get something smaller the pup is so depressed daisy they see us out here working and they can't get to us and they just whine and cry anyway yeah i got to give the guy a call but excited about it so hopefully it goes good You know what I think is really funny? <laughs> I love when people wear robes. I have to now that we're vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or should you just be naked? Exactly. I think robes are funny. I guess just because I grew up with a dad that wore robes all the time. <laughs> and sometimes... Is there a smudge on the lens? Sometimes. I don't know. Get up in there. It, maybe it's just the light. The lights in our house make for really crappy vlogging. Apologies when the videos are terrible quality. You're probably making it worse. I think I made it better. Anyway, I grew up with a father who wears robes. And believe me when I tell you that sometimes we got a little bit more than we bargained for <laughs> when he would sit down. So now whenever I see people wearing robes, I always think it's really funny because it just brings me back to the good old days. So when I wear my pink fuzzy robe, your wife wears a pink fuzzy robe. It reminds you of your dad and his joke. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't put it that way. But he had an old brown robe with like gold trim. I do not want to and know about it, this. it only went like halfway down his thighs. Because <laughs> And he's six foot five. Yeah, my dad's really tall, so most robes wouldn't fit him anyway. Yeah, that robe probably anyway, fits Laura of you wearing it. The real reason that I came in the kitchen is because I got this like well Megan got me this like green juice that I Shaking. drink. It's pretty good. Shaking. This is like naked juice. I don't know if you guys probably heard of this stuff. I always would have like, we always used to have the like fruit ones that are really good that your grandma would always have. Yeah, they're really good. But then when, sometimes when we pretend like we're trying to be healthy, we get this green one. No, I get this green one. It's kind of hard to open with Because one. Eric does not eat vegetables. He's I, horrible eating vegetables. I'm not a, yeah, I'm not a big fan of vegetables. He likes like three and kinds of vegetables. The only reason I'll eat this or drink this stuff is because I don't know, it has like pineapple and apple in it. But it just it tastes like, like pineapple. It's got broccoli, I love broccoli. Yeah, it just, it tastes like fruit. It doesn't even taste like vegetables, so that's pretty much the only reason I'll drink it. But yeah, this stuff's kind of gnarly. I mean, it, it literally looks like you ground up a bunch of your like lawn <laughs> and just poured it in, like added some water and poured it in a cup. It's really not that bad. I think it's I mean, good. you can kind of taste the veggies in it. I almost got the strawberry banana one, but I was afraid we would just sit down and eat it all or drink it all in like one yeah, the, sitting. Yeah, the, the fruit ones are delicious. This one really isn't bad. Usually I'll have it with like dinner or something so I can chase it, but... The strawberry banana one tastes like almost like food is what it reminds me of. These two have to tag around with us everywhere. You guys are probably sick of seeing our animals. They're, They're like, entourage. They're in like entourage. every second of all of our vlogs, but we love them and that's what animals are but for, look right? look how cute they are. Anyway, yet again, it's late. We did a lot of stuff today. Time to go to bed, we're exhausted. I'm pretty sure, ew, growth. I'm pretty I sure, sure you're filming the ceiling. No, I'm not I filming the ceiling. I think you need to be like right here. I'm doing it good. I'm filming good. <laughs> pretty sure I threw my back out or I'm throwing my back out. Last year I was playing softball on my brother's softball team and I reached down to get this, a ground ball that was hit to me. I was playing at third base. And I just barely turned and my back was like stiff that night. I woke up the next morning and I literally could not move. I had to crawl. <laughs> I had to crawl to the back door so I could let her out to go potty because she was crying at the back door. That's how bad it was. I couldn't even stand up. But at least you let her out. And my back basically feels identical to how it felt 
that night. Like it's stiff and it hurts right now. And you couldn't go to work for three days. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna wake up in the morning and it's just gonna be like completely seized up. Luckily, the doctor gave me some huge ibuprofen pills and some muscle relaxers. So if my back does hurt, I can load up on some meds. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for watching yet again. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Having subscribers is cool. And watch us tomorrow. Yeah. And the next day. Cause. And the next day. Awesome things are just gonna keep happening. See you next time.